Your email list can be a very powerful tool when it comes to fundraising. But the really big question is, are those people ready to be asked for money? I'm Sandy Reese. I am Chief Encouragement Officer here at Get Fully Funded, where we show small nonprofits how to raise the money they need to fully fund their operations. Today I have for you some questions that I want you to ask yourself and to think about to determine if your email list of donors and prospects is ready to respond to an email asking them for money. You see, one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of people make is they think, oh, well, we need money, just ask. And so what happens from the donor's point of view is the donor just gets asked, 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 ask and ask some more and it feels really crappy so if you're thinking about oh we need money we got to send an email oh we need money let's send an email that's not the right way to do it you want to think about it bigger picture you want to think about what that that donor or that prospect's experience is across all those emails and what's happening when you're not asking honestly that's where fundraising happens it seems kind of weird but it's true you might think, well, fundraising happens when I ask for money. Yes, but what is creating the motivation for that person to give? A lot of it is what you're sharing, what you're telling people, how you're asking, and a lot of it is what happened before you ask. Okay, so you need to make sure that you're being mindful of the whole experience. Let me give you three questions to ask that are yourself. Ask yourself these questions. And this is going to really help you make sure that you're focused in the right place so that when you do send that ask for money through email, when you hit the send button, those people are more ready to give. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to look at my notes for this. Okay, the first thing is, have you given people a good experience with their last donation? So if people have given in the past, what was their experience after they clicked the Donate Now button? Was it easy to give? Did they get a thank you? Was the thank you warm and sincere and personal and prompt? Or was it flat? Was it the default language? What have you sent them since they gave their last donation? Have you stayed in touch with them? Did you give them an update? Did you tell them a story about what their donation made possible? So if you have not done a good job of following up on that last donation, you're going to struggle this time. If you are doing a great job of communicating and giving people a great experience, you're probably going to do just fine when you send your next email fundraiser. Okay, the second question is, does the email conversation feel like an in-person conversation? So in other words, when you email out, does it feel authentic? Does this email make sense in context of the last email they got? Does it feel good to the donor or does it feel like, oh, every time I hear from them, all they want is money. They don't care about me. I'm just a number in their database. That's bad if your people feel that way. So again, you got to look at the big picture. You got to think about what that donor or that prospect's experience is with your organization. All right. And the third question is, are you giving people a reason to open your next email? And really, this is a question you want to ask yourself with, with every email you send. Every email you send, you need to be asking yourself, is what I'm putting in this email going to help people open the next email? You see, I think email for a lot of people is a form of training. Everything we send to our list either encourages them to open the next thing or it discourages them from opening the next thing. So in other words, if everything you send or if you send three or four or five messages in a row that are very inwardly focused and you're all about your goal and your need and please give, and if it doesn't feel good, you are basically teaching people, stop opening my email. On the other hand, if you send things that are very warm and make people chuckle or make people smile or make them feel really warm inside, you're teaching them to keep opening your email. So everything you send, you need to really have a hard look at and think, am I motivating somebody in this email to open the next email? You see, part of what I think happens is we're all in a hurry, right? We've got too much to do. Uh, if your to-do list is like mine, at the end of the day, it's still this long. And so we're just trying to move through and get done. And we don't take the time to really think and be strategic when we're moving 
too fast. So you have to hit the pause button long enough when you're sending an email to think, is this setting me up for success next time? And that's really what you want to think about. So there you go. Those are three questions that you can ask yourself and start thinking differently so that you can make sure the next time you send an email to your list, they're ready, they'll open it, and they'll give. You can get more tips just like this over on our blog at getfullyfunded.com slash blog or on our YouTube channel at getfullyfundedtv.com. And while you're on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you get a notification every time we share more tips just like these. See you next time. Bye.